Hey, it's Steve with Raybuck Auto Body Parts, and I'm doing another test of two different rust removal liquids. On this side, we have rust release. You guys have probably seen some of the other videos that I've done uh, comparing this to products like Evapo Rust or Metal Rescue or you know uh, Doctor X. Um, on this side is WD-40's uh, rust removal soak. I haven't used this product before. Uh, I've heard some other people talk about it, and they said it was pretty good. So I thought we'd give it a shot, do a head-to-head -head test like we've done with some of the other ones, um, and see how it works. So reading through the instructions on this, it sounds very similar to rust release and some of the other products that we've tested or have tested. Um, it is non-acidic based. It actually says it right here. Uh, it says acid free and um, it says, you know, no toxic fumes, any of that type of stuff. So it does sound very similar. Um, the directions sound very similar as well. It wants you to completely soak the product uh, in the solution for a minimum of 30 minutes. So some of the other ones were 10 or 20 minutes. This one's a minimum of 30. Uh, for more heavily rusted, it says soak overnight, which they just say is nine plus hours. So that's about what they all say. Uh, once you soak it, you remove the product. This solution wants you to um, rinse it off, thoroughly rinse it with water, and then dry it. Um, so it's so really the only difference with rust release. You don't have to do that. I usually at least wipe it off, but you don't have to rinse it. Um, but that's what we'll do. We'll rinse it, we'll dry it off, and we'll see how it works. So I'm going to take these two pieces of metal. Um, might look familiar because I used them in one of the other tests you can see up at the top, um, but I'm obviously going to be using the bottom. So we're going to take these two, we're going to put them in the different solutions, and then we're going to do a time lapse. We're going to let it sit for 30 minutes since that seems to be the minimum that WD-40 wants, and we'll come back and we'll see how they perform. Okay, I have my two containers set up. You can see the pieces of metal are down inside of them. I'm going to pour the solution in, uh, each one in, so the rust release is going in first. We're going to Again, pour it about maybe you know two thirds of the way, three quarters of the way up. We'll get that in here. And again, for those of you who uh, aren't familiar with it, um, rust release does have a fairly natural yellow tint to it. Um, it will darken as you use it, so it'll eventually turn black like a lot of these other solutions. Uh, once it turns black, then you'll know it's used up and, and you can get rid of it. And then we have the WD-40 rust remover soak that is going into the other one. Um, this one looks to be, actually this looks to be pretty clear as well, uh, similar to what we saw with some of the other products, I think it was maybe um, Core 15 or the, the Rust uh, 911 was similar to that. So uh, that's what we have, Rust Release on this side and WD-40 uh, Rust Remover Soak on that side. We're going to start the timer, we're going to let it run for 30 minutes, come back and check it. Okay, it's been 30 minutes and I'm going to take the metal out of the solutions and wipe it up down and see what everything looks like. So I'm going to start with rust release. Okay, I'm going to just wipe it off here a little bit, front and the back. Let's see what it looks like. There was a fair amount of pitting on this part, so this is what it looks like. You could obviously see the line here you can see where I poured some of it on it's a little bit wet up here but this is the line where it was soaking in the solution here's everything below it um, wherever it was pitted it turned a black color so it neutralized that rust and here's the back side of it same thing here's the line this there is still some rust right here um, some of it's black some of it is still rusted it would still need to soak a little bit more this piece was fairly heavily rusted actually that one was Kind of heavily rusted too now that i'm feeling it i could feel some deep grooves like this is a pretty deep groove that you can see that goes all the way down through this piece but overall looks like it did a pretty nice job again that was in about 30 minutes here is the wd-40 uh, rust remover soak and we'll again wipe this one off front and back 
and you can see what that looks like. Again, you can see the pretty clear line across here. Um, it did start removing the rust, obviously. You can see the big difference between here, or between the top and the bottom. You can see this groove through it. I see a little bit of black in this side, and then still a lot of rust, uh, heavier rust in these deeper pits. On the back side, um, same thing. You can see the line across here. Um, there's still a fair amount of rust in these pits. It didn't really, actually, only a few of the small spots start turning black. The rest of it is, uh, is still rusted. So, whoop, I threw that in the container. So if I do the comparison, there we go side by side, we have the rust release and the WD-40 product. So uh, that's the difference between the two. Obviously, you can see the rust release one worked um, quite a bit faster uh, in that 30 minute period. If you're doing any sort of rust removal, uh, I highly recommend top coating it. I'm going to zoom out here and show you one of the other products that, uh, that we carry. So I would highly recommend using a product like uh, Zero Rust after you're doing any sort of application like this where you're going to be um, removing rust from a surface. Even if you don't uh, use one of these products, if you have a rusted surface like a chassis, the underside of a vehicle, um, anything like that that you want to try to seal up and prevent the rust from spreading anymore, I would use something like this. This is very similar to uh, Pour 15, which is highly marketed. Zero Rust uh, doesn't really market uh, as much as Pour 15, so you may not have heard of it. We've been selling this for a long, long time, probably about 20 years. Um, it's a fantastic product. Obviously, it competes with Pour 15. I actually think it does a better job. It's not as uh, the fumes aren't nearly as bad as Pour 15. Um, it is still hard to get off of your hands if you get it on there because uh, it, it does do a job, a really good job adhering uh, to all the surfaces. Um, but what this will do is it will actually help seal in any rust. So it doesn't, it's not a rust converter, it'll seal the rust in. So anywhere you have a little bit of rust, if you can't dip it in one of these, a solution like this, we recommend scraping as much of the flaky rust off as you can, clean it you know, with a wax and grease remover or whatever just to get any grease and grime off, and then just go right over the rust with this. So you don't have to put anything down ahead of this, put this right under the rust, it seals it in, that way the rust can't oxidize anymore and it can't spread. This does not have any UV protectant in it. There is a separate Zero Rust product that's a top coat product that you can use. If it's gonna be on a chassis or under a vehicle, it doesn't matter, you don't need the UV protectant, but if it's gonna be exposed to sunlight, Definitely top coat it with a product like that or just an automotive grade paint. That's fine. Um, but again, uh, this thing, uh, this product will uh, withstand up to, it was tested up to 1800 continuous hours of salt spray. So really impressive. Comes in aerosols, quartz, gallons, a couple different colors, your basic colors, uh, black, gray, white, red, that type of stuff. Um, if you're using the quartz or the gallons, you can either um, brush them on or you can spray it. If you're going to spray it, you can dilute it with a little bit of xylene and it sprays uh, just fine. When you're done with it, what's really nice, um, if you have a quart or a gallon, put a little bit of xylene on top of it and then put the lid on. I've had it last for up to a year on the, on the shelf. Try that with Pour 15. You could barely even get the lid back off the container in an, a week after you close it up. Anyway, great product. I highly recommend it. Whether you're using any of these other rust removal products or not, it's a great thing to have around the house even if you just have a can of it. So that's our test, WD-40 rust release. Hopefully that helps you guys make a decision on one of these two if you're looking for a product like that or watch one of our other videos. We're doing a lot of other comparisons. Uh, feel free to like the channel and like this video. We appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel. We appreciate that as well. And you also get notifications whenever we do another uh, product comparison like this. Thanks for watching.